If you're a hobbyist and a tinkerer who wants to get into 3D printing, the best way is to build your own 3D printer. You can purchase and assemble DIY 3D printer kits that combine your favorite childhood pastimes with your new obsession. Starting number 1, Creality Ender 3 Pro, the first 3D printer I've ever bought. The Ender 3 Pro is the big brother of the popular Ender 3. It's a great 3D printer if you like to tinker and modify, however, owning an Ender 3 Pro is a learning experience. Because of its popularity, you have the support of one of the largest communities of makers. If you need help with leveling your bed or calibrating your settings, they've got you covered. That said, a well-calibrated and upgraded Ender 3 Pro can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Prusa's print quality. This kit is really easy to put together, and it quickly connects to your computer to make for easy printing. It took me about two hours to put together the semi-assembled kit following the 12-step pamphlet. And that's with leveling the bed too. The big thing about this printer is how accurate and sturdy it is. It's really hard to find another printer that can do what the Ender 3 Pro does at the same price point. The Ender 3 Pro is easy to use, has a lot of useful upgrades over the 3, and it has a decent build volume. This printer is a great pick if you're looking for an affordable, jack-of-all-trades type of printer, want a printer that's easy to set up and use, and aren't afraid to tinker around to achieve high-quality prints. At number 2, Prusa i3 MK3S, if you can afford this beast, it is hands down the best 3D printer in its class. Prusa is the company that blazed the trail for other DIY printer companies to follow. The proof is in the fact that their printer is called the original, it's so good that other people use it as a skeleton to make their own. The i3 MK3S is the most expensive kit on this list because it is fast, reliable, and super easy to use. Compared to the Ender 3 Pro the Prusa, i3 MK3S has automatic bed leveling so your prints can be beauties on the first try. This printer also has a magnetic print bed, a new extruder, a ton of sensors, and a lot of features. There are two versions of this printer, the fully assembled unit and the DIY kit version. You can save over $200 if you get the DIY kit version. It took me about six hours to assemble the kit. The kit comes with detailed setup instructions, and you can also supplement this with more info on their site. Additionally, this printer has plenty of info available online from different forums and videos. YouTube is your friend that will detail exactly how to assemble it. This 3D printer is super easy to use because of the iterations that the company has gone through to bring this printer to market. It's worth mentioning that this printer is open source, so you can feel free to tinker and experiment with your setup. If you're into exceptional print quality right out of the box, then the Prusa i3 MK3S is for you. It is a reliable, well-built machine that performs consistently with minimal maintenance. On the rare cases you need help or advice, Prusa also offers tech supports and a community of passionate fans. At number 3, Creality Ender 3, there's a reason why this printer is was our number one choice in the best 3D printer under $200 review. No 3D printer seems to fuse quality and affordability quite like the Ender 3. With the right settings and patience, this printer can achieve quality as good as printers 4x the price. The older generation of the Ender 3, it has all the quirks you'd expect from the old guard. Like the Ender 3 Pro, it allows you to continue printing after losing power. Likewise, the heated belt plate allows for easier printing and lets you print tougher filament materials. 
This 3D printer is perfect for beginners and tinkerers who want to get their hands dirty and who want the best bang for their buck. At number 4, Tronxy XY2 Pro, it has a reasonable price tag, a good print volume, and it looks pretty cool. It also has a sensor that detects when you're out of filament, and it automatically stops the print. It has auto-leveling, which makes the setup for printing more convenient. As a bonus, the folks at Tronxy put a touchscreen on this printer. These features are almost unheard of from a printer at this price point. The XY2 Pro is one of the easiest DIY 3D printer kits to assemble and start. If you have any problems, you can refer to their included instruction manual. If you're still stuck, you can use your lifetime technical support that comes with every purchase of a Tronxy kit. This means that their service technicians will help you with any questions or problems you have. At number 5, Tronxy X5SA Pro, looking at another printer offered from Tronxy, the X5SA Pro is an upgraded version of their smaller printer. The build volume is enormous on this guy, in fact, the largest on this list, and the price tag is still really fair for what you get, granted it's pricier than others on this list. When they released the X5SA, there were some concerns that were voiced by the 3D printing community. Tronxy was quick to fix them and released the X5SA Pro with all of the fixes. Some of the fixes include a more robust X-axis, more stability overall, better materials used for the framework, fewer vibrations, and better precision. The assembly time is around 4 hours, and it offers the same technical support that the XY2 Pro offers. If the price tag is shocking, compare this printer to a pre-made model that might cost double the price. What you get in this printer is a reliable workhorse. It has the same great features and touchscreen that the XY2 Pro offers, this one is just a lot larger and sturdier. At number 6, Gitech A10, the A10 from Gitech is more of a middle-of-the-road type of printer. The price, build volume, and resolution is all in the middle of this list. It also includes a sensor for when your filament runs out, and it will allow you to print remotely. Building it is pretty easy, too. There's a lot of resources online to help guide you through the process. This is a good pick if you aren't crazy about either extreme of the printers available. If you're looking for a DIY 3D printing kit that has a little bit of everything, the A10 is a good pick. At number 7, Anet A8 Plus, at first glance, you'll notice the A8 Plus has a big build volume, a great display, and sturdy metal framework. These are the leading factors of why the price point is a little higher than others on this list. You also get a heated build plate and a nozzle hot enough to print most commercially available filaments. The machine is very robust and sturdy which leads to better accuracy than the standard A8. The wiring and assembly will take around 3 hours and isn't that difficult based on our experience. If you get stuck, there are countless posts about how to assemble and troubleshoot your machine. This is largely due to how popular the brand and printer are. Overall this is a good pick if you are looking for a bigger printer that's sturdy and reliable.